Hello everyone, welcome to provide a solution given this exponential equation, which is 4 to power x plus 2, this is equal to 100, okay? So as you can see, solution to this, 4 to power x plus 2, this is actually in the form of 8 to power n plus m, which we can, we can, we can just transform as 8 to power n multiplied by 8 to power m. Now let's apply this property. So that we'll have 4 to power x multiplied by 4 to power 2, this is equal to 100, okay? So from what we have here, 4 to power 2, this is equal to 16, this is equal to 100. So we divide both signs by 16. So that from what we have here, this is 4 to power x, which is equal to, now let's simplify here. This uh, by 250 by 28, so here. This is again by 2, 25 divided by 4. So this is 25 divided by 4. Now, so for the value of x, we introduce that we have log 4 to power x. This is equal to log. This is 25 divided by 4. Okay. So log 4 to power x, this is in the form of log a to power n, which we can express as basically n log log a. So let's apply this power root property. So we have that rock 4 to power x, this is equal to rock 25 divided by 4. <coughs> Applying this power root property, rock 4, to, to, rock 4 to power x becomes x rock 4. This is equal to rock 25 divided by 4. Okay, divide both signs by 4, rock 4. So that x is equal to rock 25 divided by 4. Divide by log 4. Now from what we have here, we can express 25 basically as 5 to power 2 and 4 can be expressed as 2 to power 2. So now <coughs> substituting this, we'll have x is equal to log 5 to power 2 divided by 2 to power 2 divided by log 2 to power 2. Now, log 5 to power 2 divided by 2 to power 2, this is actually in the form of log A divided by B, which we can express as log A subtract log, log B. Now, applying this property, we'll have x is equal to, this is log 5 to power 2 divided by log 2 to power 2 subtract log 2 to power 2 divided by log 2 to power 2. Okay, so rock 5 to power 2, applying the power root property, this becomes 2 rock 5 divided by 2 rock 2, subtract 2 rock 2 divided by 2 rock 2. So let's simplify here quickly. Refine this, we we'll simplify here so that the value of x is equal to. Uh, this is rock 5 divided by rock 2 subtract 1. Okay, and rock 5 divided by rock 2, this is actually in the form of rock A divided by rock B, which we can express as rock A to base B. Now, applying this property, so x is equal to rock 5 to base 2 subtract 1. Now, this is the value of x. This is the value of x. Now let's verify that this value of x actually satisfies the equation. Now let's verify. Now if you recall, let's verify that this value of x, which is rock 5 to base 2 subtract 1, actually satisfies the equation. Now if you recall, we end that 4 to power x plus 2, this should give us a value of 100. Now 4 to power x plus 2, this is in the form of a raised to power n plus m which we can express as 8 to power n multiplied by 8 to power m, okay? So this is 4 to power x multiplied by 16. This should give us a value of 16, I mean 100, okay? 4 to power x multiplied by 16, this should give us a value of 100. Now let's substitute the value of x so that we'll have 4 to power. Now this is rog 5 to base 2 subtract 1. Multiplying by 16, this should give us a value of 100. Now, as you can see, 
we have two parts. 4 raised to the power of 5 to base 2 subtract 1. This is actually in the form of a to the power n subtract m, which we can express as a to the power n divided by a to the power m. Now, let's apply this property. We'll have 4 to the power rog, 5 to base 2, divided by 4 to the power 1, multiplied by 16. This should give us a value of 100. Okay? Now, 4 to the power rog, 5 to base 2, we can express we can express 4 as 2 to the power 2. So here, we'll have 2 to the power 2, rog, 5 to base 2, okay? Divided by 4, multiplied by 16, this should give us a value of 100. Okay? So let's proceed. Now we have 2 to the power 2, rock 5 to base 2, divided by 4, multiplied by 16, it should give us a value of 100. Now, we have 2 to the power, now 2, rock 5 to base 2, this is the same thing as rock 5 squared to base 2. So this is a power. So we'll have 5 squared. To base 2 divided by 4 multiplied by 16 this should give us 100 now we simplify here by 4 by 4 so we'll have 2 to power rog 5 squared to base 2 multiplied by 4 this should give us a value of 100 now as you can see 2 to power rog 5 squared to base 2 this is in the form of m to power rog a to base m which is basically equal to, to a. So that means that 2 to power rog 5 squared to base 2, this is equal to 5 to power 2. So let's start to where we have 2 to power rog 5 squared to base 2 with 5 squared. And 5 squared is 25. So it's 25 multiplied by 4. This should give us a value of 100. So 25 times 4, this is 100. And that means that the left hand side is equal to the right add side okay and that basically affirms that the value of x which is rock 5 to base 2 subtract 1 actually satisfies the equation so kindly follow the steps like this video and more importantly subscribe